All right, welcome everybody to Toowoomba Hockey Association Round 9, Friday night games on Field 1. On the left screen in the green and black is Norths playing past eye in the red and black. My name's Steve Hawthorne. Alongside me is the very clever, very good looking Moo. Thank welcome Moo. Thanks Woody. As the boys get underway. A couple of inclusions and a couple of exclusions for both teams as Will Reedy steams over the halfway line, full of confidence at the moment. And a massive mm. congratulations to Will Reedy just being named in the Queensland under-21 side. Fantastic effort. One of the youngest too, I believe. Yeah, so super effort. Him and Tom Campbell will go to Perth later on in the year. Mm -hmm. As North string a couple of passes together and come forward. Intercepted by Reedy. Races out. 50-50 there with Will Suey. Turn over there, so Suey with the ball. Another young man playing with a lot of confidence at the moment, Will Suey. Member of the Toowoomba under 18 men's side to go away in three or four weeks. Another one there, JR, Jack McEwen. As Burge turns the ball over. Burge comes forward. Norse into the D and over the baseline. So early pressure there for Norths. Good start by the Norths boys. So as we said, quite a few exclusions from Norse tonight. Uh, being Benny Edwards, Conan Haddock, Carter Mogg, Kyle Kramer, Kai Douglas, to name a few. So they'll be relying on some depth tonight, Norths. As Henry Cronk does well, beats a couple, throws a great ball inside of McEwen. McEwen pops, pops the ball forward. Logan, back to McEwen. Glass down flat, finds Reedy. Reedy, quick turnaround. McEwen again has a back stick shot. Oh, very close. Just wide. Another uh, stalwart of the team is also out tonight in Alex Hilton. So the ever reliable uh, Paul Warhurst is kitted up tonight. So Paul Warhurst is the Norse keeper tonight. As Suey gets us underway again across the glass. Glass to Burge. Burge, lovely ball to Matty Tarlington, who just looked like he was going to grab that on his back stick, a nice little receive, but just got away from him. Alex Cronk, the captain for past tie tonight, playing at the back, filling the shoes of Jay Mogg, who's out injured. Henry Cronk, just a little bit lazy there, gets picked off, picked off by Tarlington. Again, turnover. Jacob Robinson playing tonight for Norse. Norths are swarming the ball. There seems to be two and three around at any time. Yeah, high energy from mm. Norths. High energy start here. It's only, only a couple of minutes in, but played a lot of hockey in inside the past eyes. Defensive 25. As again, another turnover. Picks up Goodaham. Looking forward to seeing Goodaham on a flick tonight. Will Reedy, lovely little oh, overhead on the ball. run there. Picks up a steaming head, Logan. Michael Logan gets oh. the ball across. Finds a foot, no he doesn't. Great work there from North's defence. Back to Logan, across again. Had on backwards Lindsay, ever reliable. McEwen eliminates one. Comes forward over the 25. Misses his mark in Wallace. Suey at the back, cleans up, gets the ball out to Anderson. Uh, Robertson, sorry. Robinson eludes Hawthorne. <laughs> finds Tarlington now. Picks up that back stick trap perfectly this time. And a good tackle there by Henry Cronk over end the back end line. End hockey here in the first, what, five minutes of the game? Yeah, it's been quite a frenetic start. And on field two tonight, we have the ladies playing, Rangeville versus Red Lions. And Rangeville scored in probably the first minute. So it's 1-0 to Rangeville on field two. Thanks for the update, Moo. And there's another lovely little uh, pressure releasing overhead out of the back. Wallace now puts some pressure on Glass. Glass has Matt Burge on his right. Throws the ball across. Oh, great ball. Burge back on the angle. Picks up the captain in James Cunliffe. Cunliffe back to Suey. Suey across to Lindsay. Had on backwards, Lindsay just missed traps there. Hawthorne away quickly. Picks up Wallace. 
Through glass. Turnover though. Lindsay again. Wins a free hit. To rectify his early issue. Early little problem. Chris Glass on the ball. Overhead. You'd have to think it's, oh. yeah. Normally, through a couple of lines, Glassy, very strong player. Out of defence, very good outletter. Burge now, very strong pass to no one. Alex Cronk now gets the ball across, picks up Corey Mogg. Little back stick pass, finds Jack Hawthorne. Hawthorne beats three there, finds Reedy. Reedy does well. Mitchy Pryor, young gun from past high, gets it across to Bird Cronk. Cronk through to cousin Lockie Cronk. And they both combine for a turnover from Suey. Another brother now, Henry Cronk, across to another brother, Walt Cronk. <laughs> it's a Cronkathon <laughs> tonight. Four Cronks here tonight. Fantastic work from the Cronks. Strong there oh, from. Great. Henry oh. Cronk. Liam Brown's just into the field. Yep, Brownie will be a good presence here tonight for, for North. As we see a, an unforced error. And Liam Matheson has just walk, walked in, so he will be an inclusion here tonight as well for the North team. Garth Miller on the, on the uh, press there. Through, picks up Brown. Brown scheming and working. Gets the ball across to the left. Picks up Burge, who's gone to the left side now. Picks up Goodham, who just missed traps over the baseline. Welcome to everyone watching online. Hope you're enjoying the coverage over the last few weeks and this magnificent sport of ours called hockey. As Harry Hughes now gets Norse underway. Just mistrapped there by Brown. Hawthorne just caught there, dispossessed. Norse in. Has a shot, well saved by Dylan Reedy. Good cover defence there again by past eyes. Matty Wallace now streams away. Great skills, Matty Wallace gets a great oh. ball across. Almost picked up Garth Miller on top of the D, but who's there? Chris Glass. Mm -hmm. One like of the best. a magnet on the end of oh. his stick. Can read the game very well, Chris Glass. He can. Exceptional player. Reedy now. Turns Brown inside out a couple of times. Not many people can do that. And a lovely little overhead. Picks up Lockie Cronk on the right. Cronk again. Glass in front, big flat stick tackle by Glass. Outlets perfectly. Norse again, string a couple of really good passes together. Here's Liam Matheson now on the ball. Didn't take him long to get here and get his gear on and get warmed up and on the field. Great tackle there by Bird Cronk. Just not quite enough. And Brown looks direct. Bit of a crash ball forward there. Straight over the baseline. Past tie 16. So Walt Cronk now throws the ball across to Mog, gets it back. Past tie, interestingly enough, have gone to a back three. Ooh. Couldn't control that one there. Had on backwards, Lindsay. Runs straight at Jack Hawthorne. Hawthorne and Bird Cronk combine. Turnover in the pocket. Pass tie ball. Again, Walt Cronk on the ball. Throws an overhead over. Straight to Suey. Suey, lovely little jink pass. Tunnelif in and away. In and out to Tarlington. Tarlington across the top. Brown looking for his back stick, gets Micah Matthewson on his back stick shot. Oh. It's gone wide. Lovely play there by the Norths boys. Yeah, great work again. 
Just Good some, ball movement. Yep. Not rushing. Throwing some great little passes, combining together well. That's why they're on top of the table. Mm -hmm. President's Cup winners. Kronk now throws it through to McEwen. McEwen just eludes him, picks up his foot. Glass really controlling the tempo here. Great ball. Picks up a free Cunliffe. Cunliffe throws it straight though. Straight to Mog. Mog a turnover. Sui. Sui drops the ball back to Glass again. Glass looking for his options. Finds hat on backwards Lindsay. Down the line. Tarlington, lovely little tap inside. Picks up Goodaham. Goodaham, a nice little inside ball. Put Picks up the foot of pass I but wanted to play on, but umpire Speed, who's been doing a very good job of late, just called a free hit, so I had to go back. Now we find the ball over in the far side, right on the sea in hockey, Toowoomba hockey. Bob Cronk picks up Reedy. Reedy little ball forward. Knocked over the sideline by Hazza Hughes. Reedy working. Picks up the foot of Glass. Takes off quickly. Didn't think Glass was into the five. Wallace down. Wins a free hit. No. Good defence. Jimmy Cunliffe, the captain. Wallace wasn't happy with that one. No, he thought he'd done enough there, Matty Wallace. But quickly turned and retreated. Glass there, tough chance there, but well trapped <laughs> by Michael Matthewson. Foot off the ground and hard as you like. Cronk and Mog combine. Wild Cronk, it's a ball out to none other than Mr. Greggy Dean himself. <laughs> Great to have him on board in this game, Greggy Dean. Great work there by Mitchie Pryor. He's picked up the crash ball. Pryor gets the ball through to Wallace. Those lovely little golden locks flowing as he runs. That's enough to win a free hit. So past high in the 25 yard of yard area of uh, Norse. Haven't spent a lot of time in here, but Will Reedy again, working hard, scheming. Just knocks that one over the baseline. Really looks like something's going to happen when he's got the ball on his stick. Front three from pass tie fairly close together. Although not close enough to stop that ball. So two passes, here we are. Norths are in the D. Good tackle, Corey Mogg. Mm, very composed there. Yeah, great little pick. Tackle that had to be made, to be fair. In past high, just probably too narrow up front and too high. Has a huge throws a dangerous ball into the D. It turned over. Greggy Dean gets a bit more purchase on that one, picked up by McEwen. McEwen drops the ball back to Jack Hawthorne. Hawthorne goes back to Walt Cronk. Greggy Dean. Walt Cronk. Really good, good little touch there. Just does enough. Ready on the ball now, across to Cronk. Cronk straight through. Great little backstick trap there by Hawthorne. Hawthorne back to Reedy. Just not enough on the overhead from Reedy. Picked up by Matheson. Corey Mogg's all the way up here and he's the yeah. right half. So Mitchie Pry having to do some work there to get back. Corey Mogg just coming back into the shot now. Matheson here looks left and right. Takes him on into the D. Matheson, very good skills. Just picked off there by Reedy.
Reedy again doing well, beating three now, promoting the ball. McEwen, McEwen with speed. Picked by Harry Hughes though. Very good defender, Harrison Hughes. Pass tied Junior. Ken Baxter on the ball now, Mr. Baxter. Downlands teacher, school teacher. Good ham. Just had an opportunity there, but picked off at the last minute. Strong by Miller. Needs help. McEwen. Across to Hawthorne. Hawthorne finds Reedy floating on the right. Reedy forward. Just out of reach of Mitchy Pryor. But better signs there from past high, opening up on the on the open side or the help side. Had on backwards Lindsay now on the ball. Picks up a deflection from Pryor. No, uh, Lockie Cronk that is. So nil all the score, minute to go in the first quarter. Let us know your thoughts. Score prediction. Player of the match prediction. Yeah, player of the match. Norse quite comfortably out in front on the ladder. Red Lions in second place and the other three teams, Rangeville, Pastor and Newtown all sharing third spot at the moment. Close competition then, Steve? Yeah, great to see. Nice close competition. I think our Iron Jack or our Club Glenvale Challenge is a huge part of that. Mm -hmm. Which is a fantastic concept. So 30 seconds now. No one's in a rush. Corey Mogg just managing this last 20 seconds. Get on the Finds Reedy. Reedy pops the ball through. And that is quarter time. So nil all the score. First quarter. Past high versus Norse. Round nine. Friday night lights. Toowoomba. Back soon. Welcome back now to the second quarter. After watching some of those fantastic goals from our open men just recently at the state championships, and hopefully we get to see a package of the women's team who actually won the championship, didn't they, Mary? Sure did, Steve. Congratulations. Thank you. What a great feeling. Fantastic. It's good to be back in the winner's circle for open since yeah. now we've had the open tournament back for the first time in, or second time in five or six yeah. years. Yeah, how good. Yeah. As we see Reedy now. Picks up Hawthorne on the outside. Hawthorne throws the ball through to pick up Miller. Miller just right idea there. Hit the T-spot just away from Mikey Logan. 
What do you think the past high coach was telling them at quarter time, Steve? What do you think the boys need to do? I think um, that they've been scrambling in defence well. This is a very hard team to play because of Glassy at the back. I think he can just throw an overhead just like that. So no matter what press you try and do, uh, that can be the outcome. So as we see the ball into the D, great drag there by Math, uh, by Goodham, sorry, and a save kept in. Again, defensive work by Will Cronk that time. Just picks up the back of his stick. So I think, uh, yeah, they've got to um, work out, you know, work on their drop zones and, and making sure that second phase play doesn't happen from Glassy's passing, I think, would be a key message. As Hawthorne does well there, picks up a free hit to relieve some pressure inside the, the D rod on the baseline by Mathewson. Cronk picks up his younger brother Will Cronk, so that's Henry to Will. Will finds Reedy. Reedy probably could have had an overlapping quarry mog there, but mm. was told to go backwards. Now it's a turnover there. Tarlington, good tackle by Hawthorne, but over the sideline. And I think Norse, Norse would be trying to encourage their midfield to, to get away from the press. So Glassy has some clear targets mm -hmm. uh, and to really, really stretch the team and, and work right down to the baseline because they're so powerful through the, the backs and as we see there mm -hmm. from inside the half, inside to the inside the 25 of past high, just one time pass from Glass picks up Suey. So, so dangerous in attack, that long ball that he's so good at. So. Well, in that first quarter, Glassy found Matthewson quite a few times on that left midfield, so... It's been working for them. Yeah, absolutely. And another thing, another fix that past I'm going to have to come up with, I think, is the the outletting. So the back three at the moment are um, just turning a few too many balls over. So, which is all new for a player like Walt Cronk, who's normally been playing left or right half. So he finds himself as the centre defender now. Picks up Corey Mog. Corey Mog again, just a turnover there. Picks up Suey. Matty Wallace working hard, but like you said earlier, Mo, just that magnet back to glass. Mm -hmm. He's always in the right spot. Great skills there again by Goodham. Really having a good game tonight, tonight, isn't he? Yeah, full of confidence. And I'll tell you what, if if they get a, a short corner, I reckon I know what's going to happen. <laughs> so Phil Goodsell and Elliot Speed umpires tonight. And I haven't even really noticed them move, so that's no, a sign of good umpiring, I reckon. Fantastic. Yeah. And there's been a lot of, um, not too many whistles, it's just play on, play yeah. the advantage. Yeah, so far it's been a really nice game to, to watch. That's Brown, beautiful one touch pass, picks up Burge. That could be their first short quarter, Nate. He's oh, played on. that's a great that's a receive great. and goal. Yeah. Matty Tarlington, so. Good advantage there. Yeah, well blown. McEwen there, I didn't think needed to trap that. Just threw it back and it was a bit of a turnover. So he'll learn. But uh, Norse, 1 0. As we get back underway, Reedy comes deep now to Kronk. Heavily pressured here now, the Kronks. Another turnover there from Henry. Great press there from Norse. Really pushing up high in past high defence. Great work there from Henry Cronk. Gets the ball out, but back to Glass, who opens up, finds Burge. Burge, another beautiful slap pass. Matthewson turns back inside, throws down the 45. Passed off free hit, though. Good defence by Wild Cronk. Cronk to Hawthorne. Hawthorne outlets now. Pasto just need to find each other's sticks a little bit. They're trying to hit those long balls and they're just turning it over a few too many down that right side. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Again, Glass now on the 16. And, and Norse have visually stretched their three strikers 
and compressed their midfield, which opened up the whole third quarter. So that was a potential overhead drop zone for for Norse, but uh, decided to go around the back and over the sideline. So Reedy now, great crossfield overhead. Matthewson does enough, has Hawthorne coming hard, runs it straight into Mog, picks it up again, but just gives the hit away. Good pressure from Mog and Hawthorne. Hawthorne picks up Miller, Garth Miller, very experienced player, very strong on the ball. Does enough there against Liam Brown that time. Wins a free hit. Hawthorne on the ball. Mate Reedy now to Hawthorne. Comes back around. Finds Henry Cronk. Cross to his brother Walt. Walt picks up Mog. Overlapping right half. Crash ball. Straight down the 45. Picked up by Burge. Burge gets it out. Tarlington working hard at the back. Again, another crash ball through. Just off the 45 that time, but no one home for either team. 1-0 the score, 10 to go in the half. And Steve, we have a new sponsor for the A1 yeah, absolutely, competition Mo. this year. Yeah, Bus Queensland have come on board. Fantastic sponsor, Bus Queensland. It's great to see new sponsors as well coming into hockey, Queen, into the Toowoomba Hockey. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, this sort of coverage helps really well with that sort of stuff. So really good to have our sponsors on board. As Hawthorne makes a nice little dart through over the 25, wins a free hit. Miller on the ball, picks up Greggy Dean. Greggy Dean, bouncy ball there to Will Reedy, tough chance. Everyone just resets now. Burge to Brown. Brown picks up a tough chance. While well, Cronk now beats a couple. Just didn't force the free hit there, mm -hmm. so it's a turnover. Again, working hard while well, Cronk. Does enough this time. Having a really good game while well, Cronk. Captain tonight, Wallace, Wallace versus Suey, Suey and Brownie make the tackle, Wallace still retains the ball, while Cronk's up there now, while Cronk's in everything tonight, oh, close, yeah close, close work there, desperate work, now he's caught well out of position, or has he been pushed up? He might have been pushed up into the midfield, or he's been been relieved. And again, front three for Pastor really probably not doing too much there when that sort of ball can happen. Had on backwards, Lindsay, pass across. Another pass to Mathis, Matheson, and Pastor are defending inside the D. Great work, Greggy Dean. Yeah, Greggy Dean does enough there. Wins a free hit. Gets the ball across to Bird Cronk now. Lovely little upright back stick trap. Mitch Pryor finds Reedy. Oh, lovely Ooh. little V-drag, Reedy. Quick hands In and there. away there. Picks up Logan. Logan over the 25. Darts back around. Straight to glass. There's that magnetic field. Look at the gap, there's just no past tie around him. Cunliffe, right across to backwards, head on, head on backwards Lindsay. One time pass from Brown. Picks up Robertson, air swing, turnover. Greg Dean finds the, himself with the ball again. Hawthorne beats a couple, gets a ball to Reedy. Reedy just picked there. Matheson. Oh, 
Brown finds himself with the ball on his four stick. <laughs> Goes high. The Hollywood shot. Great patience there from Will Cronk. Good from Jack Hawthorne. Gets the ball onto the far side. One touch there from Cronk. Picks up White Shoot Cronk. That's Henry. Again, just not quite holding the ball over the well, inside of the 25. 25. Yeah, they just have those, just not that next, that one last 5% that they need there. Again, Lindsay, that hat on backwards. Being peppered by Logan. Mitchy Pryor, turnover. Gets the ball across to McEwen. McEwen opens up, comes back to Reedy. Reedy, in and away. Logan, across the face. No one there to jump on it. Mitchy Pryor just drops the ball onto his own foot there, Pryor. Got to retreat, Pryor. Oh, Greggy Dean did well to read that, just couldn't quite execute the tackle. Again, Mitchy Pryor, feet everywhere. <laughs> Oh, and Chris Glass has come off horny, so yeah. this could be a good chance for pass to overcapitalise. I wonder if anyone spotted that out there. We're about to find out. Lockie Cronk gets the ball across. Turned over by Suey. Wallace trying to intercept. Suey gets the ball to Harrison Hughes. Again, great tackle by Wild Crom. Mm -hmm. Good ham tried to sell it there, I think. <laughs> but uh, it was, there was a, a, was whiff a great of, tackle. Yeah. There was a whiff of soccer in that <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm not going to tell him that because he's big. <laughs> <laughs> Again, pass side, just not that last connection. As we see... And that's action shots wandering, wandering around the sidelines. So keep an eye on Facebook in the next few days. No doubt there'll be some great shots of the, the hockey here tonight. Such a great ph photographer, and that's always out here. Loves it, doesn't she? Doesn't it? And does a fantastic job. Absolutely. I do Keelan. believe she's also going to the state 18s championships yeah, too. Yeah, Ex exceptional stuff. Well done, Bird Cronk. Very heavily pressed there by Jacob Robinson. Walt to Henry. Henry picks up Logan. Michael Logan throws the ball back to Henry Cronk. Cronk another turnover there. Good tackle, but not quite enough. Burge too strong. Wins a free hit for Burge, so. No Chris Glass, no worries at the moment, Luke. Mm, no. I don't know, if I was past that, I'd be trying to press this in and get a turnover. Yeah, absolutely. Well, no, do that. You'd As not. we throw a 50 <laughs> metre overhead out. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to help much, the press there. <laughs> and that's the confidence these guys have now, playing with a bloke like Chris Glass, to be able to execute that sort of stuff. So. Well, it's fantastic to have such a great calibre of player in our competition for these people to learn from. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Great tackle there from Walt Cronk. Walt picks up Reedy, flowing forward. 25 metres here. Great ball. Logan, which way is he going to go? Good tackle by Lindsay. Does enough. Jack McEwen just not... Oh. Almost turned over. Lots of encouragement coming from the Norse bench for these young strikers to do some running. And again, Michael Matthewson having a great game. Yeah. Throws a little ball forward. Robinson on the attack. Good work. Cronk, but picked off by Robinson. Drag. Ball across. Well covered. Dylan Reedy. Queensland Country shadow goalkeeper. Dylan Reedy in the net. Awesome coverage there. 
nothing could stop Nor, so they were flying forward quickly, weren't they? Absolutely, and it was such a quick turnover. Welcome to the viewers over in the UK. Mm -hmm. Great to have you tuning in and following along, enjoying your coffee. Welcome to everyone else. Let us know your thoughts. Lindsay now picks up Matheson. Suey left. Picks up Harrison Hughes. Did a couple of years down in Tasmania. Has a Hughes. Great work, bat, hat on backwards, Lindsay, as always. So short corner here for North. First short corner of the game, Horny. First short corner, we'll get to see the battery. This would be exciting. I know Reedy will have to be on his toes in the net here with Goodaham. My prediction is Goodaham is just going to unleash here. Oh, I'm going to go bottom right. Bottom right as we look. Or as keep us bottom right. So uh, as we look, bottom right. Yep. As Goodham's I'm thinking, bottom right. I'm thinking top left. Goodham's top left. Right. Like a bullet. Like a bullet, you reckon? And stick saved by Reedy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, Moo wins it. Oh, hey, get around it. <laughs> Great prediction, Moo. Bottom right it goes. The bottom right. And it's that big clang of the backboard. Yeah, like a dead set bullet, so. Moo picked it. So that's 2-0 the score. Hawthorne to Dean. Dean one time to Garth Miller. Straight ball to no one, so. That's the half. Past high trailing here, 2-0 to a understrength Norse team, but still with some high quality stalwarts. Mm -hmm. So very good game of got uh, a hockey to watch. Thanks to Bus Queensland and Toowoomba Hockey. We'll be back after this break. <laughs>
back to the second half here tonight of our first game. Pass high versus Norse, leader ladders Norse. Not doing it easy, but are in charge here of this game, Moo. What are your thoughts? Um, yeah, it, two nil is probably a fair score, but Pasto haven't been awful, so it's like they're they're still in it. They're still in it with a shot. Yeah, that's right. It's it's been a it's been a good game. I think if Pasto just have a couple of little fixes up front, um, and you know force that free hit inside the twenty five, and I think this man's probably the key man to do that at the moment. Will Reedy, Jack Hawthorne as well. Some dangerous attacking machines there. But again, good defence. Matthewson, like we spoke about early, Mike Matthewson with the ball here, having a great game. Yeah. Drops it back up, back out. Good patience there after a really good turnover. Now Burge, back to Glass. Glass is back on after half time. So between Chris Glass and Liam Brown, this team of Norse has been really well drilled lots of work put into them and it's showing mm -hmm. Matty Wallace gets the ball across picked up by Cunliffe but Wallace gets it back drops it back to Jack Hawthorne Hawthorne Great square ball. to a flowing wild Cronk and one more good Cronk to McEwen McEwen crash ball across the face oh. great work there by Cunliffe Reedy oh. Has a shot, another shot now. Warhurst, oh. good save. Oh. Desperation Short there corner. by Walt Cronk. No, Garth Mill, that is. Oh. Chris Glass is having word to Elliot. Gets the short corner. No. So, an attacking chance here now for pass tie of the short corner. Who are their flickers? Do I'm thinking, any? yeah, probably Jack Hawthorne. Mm -hmm. uh, Will Reedy might do something here, so we'll see see what happens. But it uh, looks like we've got Reedy on the left battery and Jack Hawthorne on the right battery. I'm going to go Jack bottom left. Jack bottom left. I'll go Jack top right. <laughs> <laughs> Comes to the second battery. Hawthorne slap. Ooh. Good save. Warhurst gets his foot across. So filling in for Hilton tonight. Paul Warhurst making a couple of crucial saves in the last minute or so. Reedy now gets the ball back into the D and seen over the back line. Pass those so strikers just don't seem to be able to connect with their midfield at the moment. Yeah, that's right, and that's a little fix I think that Greggy Dean's been working on. Mm -hmm. So again, the players thought the the opposite to the, the free hit there, but all good. Straight over the sideline. Umpire's always right. Exactly. So we're right back down in the back left corner for pass tie. Bird Cronk on the ball. Upright hit out, Bird Cronk. And still going. Still in. Perfect little touch finder. So great relieving pressure hit there from Will Cronk. Maybe we could bring in 40 20s, Horny. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> Although Glassy would be very good at them. <laughs> oh, there's a 40 20 chance there from Chop Suey. <laughs> He must have heard that, did he? He must have. <laughs> Straight into the game, wanted to be the first. Yeah. Welcome to Billy Lanzina. Billy, another famous commentator in the hockey ranks. Good to have you along, my friend. As we see an overhead going right downtown to Nowhereville. Past I could not quite get a hold of that. Big overhead from Corey Mog, number 11. Famous Mog number for past high. Again, Norse just do enough to get the ball back. Still inside the 25. Brown back on the field now. Brown to Glass. Glass goes right across, picks up Suey very wide. Suey straight down the sideline. Beautiful ball. Oh. Great out outletting there from Norths. 
Nice little dog leg from Brown to Glass, and then so we did the rest. So opposite end of the field now, and Cronk to Cronk, just a little mistrap there from Bird Cronk over the sideline. Suey again. Picks up Miller. Ball goes high. Free hit against. Brown now walking over to the free hit. Liam Brown. Little one time there from Goodaham. Over the baseline from past die. Long corner. Brown again. Walks at the five. Looks for the crash ball. Gets it a bit high there. Finds a foot of Garth Miller. Long corner again. Crossfield overhead. Just out of reach of Lockie Cronk. Finds Harrison Hughes. Corey Mogg does well. Wins the free hit. Pass to our right. Back in the corner now. On the near side. Big crossfield overhead out there by Corey Mogg. Just bounces up too high for Bird. Lots of substitutions being made at the moment. Another overhead. Overhead City here at the moment. Picks up the foot there, Corey Mogg. Norse ball. Used Matheson, Matheson tackled Mog. Deflection there from Cunnell off the captain. So pass tied ball out. I think if he leaves that, went straight to Chris Glass. But <laughs> Matheson, just not quite enough on that. Oh, need the ball, Jack. Yep, can go without it. <laughs> Henry Cronk, just couldn't quite pick up Reedy. Matheson, Reedy gets, a, gets enough on it. And Hawthorne wins a free hit. Just as the rain starts again now, Steve. Yeah, cold and wet. Mm -hmm. Best be on the couch at home. <laughs> Brought to you here by Bus Queensland. It's live streaming. Former hockey. Friday night stuff. Short corner on the top field for the Newtown girl, uh, Red the Lions Red Lions team. girls. It looks like I'm, I've seen two goals to Rangel, so it's 2 0 from what I can tell. Lovely touch from Corey Mould, just not quite enough angle on it. Hughes to Glass. Glass has options. Uses hat on backwards Lindsay. Lindsay picks up Burge in the midfield. Tackle by Reedy, but straight, straight back to Brown. Brown does not panic. Just throws a perfect pass. Again, good tackle, Burge. Cunliffe back to Brown. Brown changes the direction against the flow. Good work from Corey Mogg. Mitchy Pryor now on the ball. Throws the ball through to Lockie Cronk. Cronk has Wallace straight on the tee spot. Great work, Wallace. Wallace pulls it back out. Just away from Who's Pryor. The, quickest? the foot race. Well done. Pryor wins the race and the ball, which is hard to do against Goodaham. And I can't see that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's Reedy on the ball. Working hard in that front pocket, but between the uh, fuzzy window and a bit of rain on it, we can't quite see. Long corner anyway. Yep, so Corey Mogg on the ball now. Gets the ball across, Brown takes a deflection, puts his hand up to tell everyone he touched it. So it's a pass tie ball, very good sportsmanship. 
Bird Cronk working well on that left left hand side. Miller on the ball. It's the ball out of Walt Cronk. Oh, straight across the face. Oh, no one there. Where is everyone? Mm. Glass again. Good yards by the pass tie. Midfield and strikers there. Just to nullify that uh, attack from Norse at time. Harry Hughes though on the ball. Brings it back to Glass. Had him backwards, Lindsay out this side. Ooh. Picks up Brownie. Good space. I don't know why Mitchy Pry didn't go to the ball then, but good tackling there. Cronk. Cronk and Cronk and Mog. <laughs> Odd man out there. <laughs> yeah. I hope I've pronounced that correctly. <laughs> <laughs> Mog now searching big overhead. Oh, Goes over the there. glass oh. and over the back line to Nowhereville again. Well, I guess that's one way to eliminate glass. Go over him. Yeah, that's it. So welcome everyone online. Good to have your company here tonight. I think you're in the best place to watch this. Very cold and wet and windy out here at the moment. Some high quality hockey going on here though. Two teams going at it. Really good ball movement. Really well umpired. We haven't noticed the umpires at all. So really good to see. Mm. Couple of players playing really well for each team. Alex Cronk, the captain for past high, and Micah Mathewson having outstanding games. Adam backwards, Lindsay, always good to see. Really a team player, Lindsay. Glass now just walking forward. Looking through about three lines. Throws a perfect oh. ball. Just goes out of reach of can't quite see who that is. It's too blurry. I think that might be Jimmy Cumlin. Oh. Long corner, I think, now. Mm -hmm. Back in where we can sort of see it a bit. Lindsay. Good of hand there. Strength from good of hand. Oh. There's a big arc. Picks up the feet of Logan for a short corner. So, North second short corner. They're one from one so far, 100% strike rate. By getting all their protective gear on. Michael Matthewson heading back to inject. Uh, I'm gonna go top left. So good to him? Good to him top good left. Ham. I'm gonna go good to him bottom right. <laughs> <laughs> Goes left to good to him. Bottom right oh, again! Bottom right again. <laughs> <laughs> too good, too good, good to him. Very, very clever flick that. Straight between the keeper and the postie. Mm -hmm. So three nil the score. Three and a half minutes to go in the third. Reedy to Hawthorne. Back to Cronk. To Cronk. To Cronk. <laughs> Back to Cronk. Turnover. Crash ball across. While Cronk oh. does well, just gets out of reach. Really kept that in. Over the baseline. Oh, someone's got a card. 
Reedy. Little Reedy with a card. I didn't see what colour that was. I think it was green. Green card. Yeah. So Kronk now, good tackle. Just over the baseline. Lindsay to Suey. Oh. Suey, oh. just a tough, tough ball there for Hazard Hughes. Gets away from him. So pass to still a player down for the next minute and a half. Flying one there, flying yep. past high. Ball back to Cronk. Will Cronk, Henry Cronk. Past high, just passing it around there. Getting little turnovers. Good of him, flying forward. Gets it on his four stick. Oh, oh great shot. Good hands on fire tonight. Yeah, great work. So 4-0 the score. Minute 20 to go. Man down. Still mm. past high. Overhead's out of there. Over the baseline. Yeah, 16. So a minute to go in the third. Welcome to all the viewers. Hope you're enjoying it. Best place to watch it on the couch tonight. Mm -hmm. Another overhead out from Burge. Picks up Walt Cronk. Upright hit, straight back. Had him backwards, Lindsay. Gets away from him. Good desperation there from Goodham. It's been a good battle between Goodham and Hawthorne tonight. Good still Ham. going? Yeah, very strong. Crashes through a couple. Oh. It's a ball back on the inside. Mitchy Pryor finds Mog. Mog promotes it. Logan. Just clipped his foot there, Logan. And Reedy was just about to come back onto the field, but that's three quarter time. Three quarter time, yeah. So not a very good quarter there for past tie. Very good quarter for North. So four nil the score. We'll be back in a minute. Different star flying over streets and our broken hearts, but they can even touch us. We found a different beat. Paradise is waiting, and we brought the lead. Oh, getting caught in the mist is a man that never get out of. They're feeding the fears and the doubts. Oh, but we go and we run till the end, and we run without shame. Welcome back here now to the fourth and final quarter. Norse 
again in a very strong position in this game so we test the resilience of the past high side Greggy Dean nice little pop through to Jack Hawthorne one corner good defence there I think that's Suey so back now for a, a long corner Pass I'll have to change a few different things here. Not, not everything's working, and oh, no. that's probably not ideal either. Very game by the keeper there. Yeah, good work from Reedy. <laughs> Had no other options really. There's that little V drag of Will Reedy's though. Very nice. Prior forward. Better structure here from Pass Toy. Just a couple of little fundamental mental errors still. As Norse get it around the baseline, back line very well, very swiftly. Just an intercept, intercept from Hawthorne. Harry Hughes on the ball again now. Seen over the sideline from Cronk. So, past high ball. And it looks like... Hey. So, pass high again, Hughes and Hawthorne, toiling away, Hughes wins the free hit. Hughes back to Suey, Suey's been good, mm. lovely little back stick pass there from Suey. Hawthorne and Hughes clash, ball over the sideline. Hughes again now, picks up a good cross field pass, Burge, one touch Matheson, back to Haddon backwards, Lindsay, he throws it down the 45, Lindsay, oh. who finds Gooderham, Gooderham, oh, good tackle, corner. tackle that had to be made by Alex Cronk, because Gooderham was winding up, so we see short corner number three. three. Does he go so three from three? Does he go for a hat trick? Well, at the moment, there's still a 100% strike rate, mm -hmm. so. Well, paper is a rock here for bottom right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go top left. <laughs> bottom right. I think he's going to go bottom right. <laughs> <laughs> it's been working well, so hopefully the postman's up to the challenge. Yeah. Good Corey Mogg on the sideline, who's normally a very good postie, so. I can't quite see who was there. I think it's Garth Miller, to be honest. Bottom right. Bottom right again. Three, three from three. three. If it ain't broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. So three. That's a hat trick of mm -hmm. bottom rights from Goodham. Mm -hmm. And that would be his fourth for the night. Yes. So five nil the score. Five nil the score. Three short corners. Reedy runs into traffic. Wins a free hit. Ready again, pops forward, Greggy Dean. Oh, oh. load, Greggy. <laughs> he had the show, just didn't have the go. No. <laughs> so, good work there from Reedy. Got the ball right forward into the D, Greggy Dean. Just couldn't quite put a shot away. Probably the story of his life. <laughs> so now, Mog, he's probably fiddling with it a bit too much. Henry Cronk this time wins a free hit. Midfield is presenting. Mog goes over the top. That almost had ice on it. Yeah. Just knocked a bit more rain out of the sky, that yeah. one. So even the bounce went over players. Mm -hmm. So 5 0 the score, last quarter, 12 and a half to go. Hawthorne drags back, pops the ball to Reedy. Reedy, crash ball, gets a stick of Suey. So, long corner.
Reedy, Miller, Miller Strong. Oh, pass on a bit of a roll here. And again. Again, Miller very no strong. Early, not five. Oh. Very lucky to get away with that. Yeah. Matheson. As a few heavy raindrops start to fall. Mm -hmm. Great tackle, Mog. Mog. Again intercepted by Mathis, Matheson. Matthewson. Micah Matthewson. And it's a Norse ball. Lamb now. Lamb Brown on the ball. Has options. Oh. Goes straight. Finds, well, was looking for Cam Baxter. Mm -hmm. Couldn't quite find him. Now they just have a midfield chat about what should have happened. As the Big subs keep gap rolling. Between the past eye defence and their mid. Or strikers in mid. Yep. Again, JR just turns that around the corner and plays it for four. Mm -hmm. But uh, wins the free hit because it was a dangerous dangerous back stick across the, the middle. So ball comes over. Hawthorne on the ball. Has Mog overlapping. Rain really coming down <laughs> now. It's really coming down sideways and fast. Brown does well. Mathis, uh, Baxter pops it through to He'll Tarlington. Get that. Oh. Good legs on Tarlington, just not quite enough. Ten and a half to go. Past I yet to score. Reedy picks up the foot of Brown. Play on the call. Opens up, finds Pryor. Matthewson picks him. Greggy Dean tricks. Greggy Dean takes off now. Another little jink pass there. McEwen goes without it. Suey picks up. He's good enough. Hawthorne wins the ball back. Gets tackled though by Matheson. Matheson finds his way, works his way through traffic, wins a free hit. Hughes crash balling on the 45, picked up by Walt Cronk. Cronk slides one to Wallace. Wallace straight down the sideline. Lindsay in the road. Great left-handed pick up there by Liam Brown. Been one of his strengths for the best part of 20 years. Ball oh. into Lindsay. Lovely oh, little ball through. <laughs> Norse players climbing over the top of each other to get the ball. Even at 5-0, Steve, they're still hungry to score another goal. Yeah, absolutely. That's why they're so good at the moment. Very well drilled team. Brownie trying an old trick there. Hand up. Yeah, didn't quite work. Suey wins the ball. Turnover again. Hawthorne travels into the D. Picks up his foot. Suey crossfield bomb. I thought Reedy was going to get that. Oh, oh. his first mistake. <laughs> good hand, good hand didn't like that. <laughs> Probably inside the five there too, but allowed to play on. Wallace. Wallace picks up the foot there, just inside the D. No, outside. just outside the D. McEwen throws it back out to Cronk. Goes across to Pryor. And just an update on field two. It's currently three all. Rangeville versus Red, Red Lions. Lions. Well, there you go. Mm. So that'll be a very exciting game to be watching up there too, if you can brave the weather. All the umbrellas have actually come out now, Steve. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Wet weather jackets and umbrellas. Mm -hmm. Toowoomba Staples at the moment. Yes, we could be a town in Victoria or England. Tasmania. Yeah, England, that's for sure. Come off, down the left. Oh, Tries a great ball. pass to a presenting Tarlington. Oh, just couldn't keep it in. Just not quite strong enough to keep that. So Norse well in control. Sub still rolling.
Last time, boys, not quite connecting. Mike has been outstanding for the North men tonight, and same with Zach Goodham. Yeah, that's right. Matty Burge has been quite solid as well. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's really been a bad player from North Side tonight. As Goodham just cuts his old tricks and <laughs> Thank you very slices much. Slices and dices and works a short corner. I'll go four from four, sir. I reckon he'll change it up. You reckon? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll Maybe see. somebody else gets a go. Oh, yeah. Might be time for one of the younger guys to have a go. But it looks like. Still looks like he's him. on the left battery. Yeah. And he's pointing to the injector to get the ball and inject it to him. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of helps a little bit, doesn't it? So good hand. They've just gone to the one battery. Four from four, bottom right. Come off the trapper. Four from four, bottom right, I reckon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, it's gone, gone high. high. Safe from Reedy. Strong tackle there, another short corner. So here we go again. Same setup. They've moved left a bit. Good ham. Oh, wide. wide. I think they were looking for a tap in there from the right hand side from Cam Baxter, but not quite there. Good work here from McEwen and Reedy. Reedy very heavily hacked there and gets a free hit. Hawthorne takes off. The low hit on the run. Over. Was that a, I didn't see that. It's was a, a free hit, ball, free okay. hit, yep. Miss that. Maybe danger, maybe. And he, here comes Annette Andrews. She's still braving this weather, wandering the sidelines. She's committed and very dedicated. Absolutely. One of the best. Had on backwards, Lindsay. I'm sure she, she would have got a good <laughs> shot of that. <laughs> Matthewson again. Beats one, beats two, still going. Matheson gets the ball right into the spot. Great defence, though. Oh, had to be trapped from Burge, did well. Oh, no, he is human. <laughs> Got the foot. Ready, on to the right. Has options forwards. It's a ball across. Norse just get away with it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Has it actually hit his body? No. I think he never got How his stick in front of How did that happen? Head. That was very graceful, Jack. <laughs> Norse keep coming. And again, good work from Walkrom. He does enough, wins a free hit. Liam Matheson was trying to be cheeky, but didn't get away with it. Hey. Walkrom, that's a one wood right down the middle of the fairway. Free hit against. Brown, little slider in. Picked up by Mog. Dispatched by Hawthorne. Picks up Greggy Dean. Greggy Dean beats a couple, including Haddon backwards, Lindsay. Reedy on the ball, travels forward, has room. There's oh, four versus one, two, three, four. Didn't five, quite find. Five. Yeah. Didn't quite find the mark there. Ball comes back in. Great Good pick by Sui. Sui having an outstanding few minutes there. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> JR. <laughs> Just got ahead of himself then. Yeah, Miller, very clever. 
gets away with that one. <laughs> and now he comes off. <laughs> Very entertaining work. So two to go, five nil the score. North have been good, their short corner's exceptional. Good a ham. Four, four, four goals, three four short goals. corners? Yeah, no, five short corners, four goals. Unbelievable stats mm -hmm. there, so any team would love that, that's for sure. The one, rest, of, one of those four was a field goal, yeah, so three. The rest have been a, a pretty good arm wrestle, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. Um, Norse have been probably a little bit more structured, but past mm -hmm. tyre are, are working hard. You take so, away their short corners, it's 2 0. Yeah, that's right. So, that's right. Lots to and, work on. Um, a couple of really good saves by the fill in keeper. Mm -hmm. As we have a backstick slash oh. across the face. That no desperation there. there. One of their only shots this. Yeah. So Paul War Warhurst having a having a, a uh, couple of crucial saves, we might say. Absolutely. So the breakdown's not all bad for past high. No. It's uh it's you know, a few connection issues and then not giving away short corners to, mm -hmm. to good ham. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so who's your man of the match, Steve? Wow. Who else can it be? Yeah. <laughs> He's had an outstanding night. I think take the short corners away from it. I think Micah Matheson's probably next, yep. next in line. He's had a really good game. Yeah, I agree. And um, as we just see a tricky little overhead out over the top of everyone, still bobbles. And Walt Cronk for past high has been all effort. Yeah. So he's really, really worked hard, Walt Cronk. Credit to past high too. They never gave up. They yep. were, they're still working until yeah, the last right. minute. Yep. Full of good men and really well coached by Greggy Dean. I know the boys had a had a Zoom uh, meeting during the week with a like a board session. Mm -hmm. So as well, we, we see, go. oh, oh, had him backwards, and, Lindsay, to save the day. And Greggy's playing, so he's yeah, coaching so, and yeah, playing. That's right. It's probably not the plan for him, but at this stage, um, yeah, with a few out, so. But yeah, really, really great game. Thank you very much, Moo. So you're no off worries. to umpire now. I'm off to umpire now. Enjoy that. Hopefully yes. you do well. Hopefully it stops raining. And we will be back in a few minutes. And we're going to see Red Lions take on Rangeville. Back soon.